Welcome to 7 Sports Extra. The Broncos back to practice today. Well, sort of. Just a walkthrough inside the Pat Bolin Fieldhouse. Players were happy about that. And Trevor Simeon was able to walk through the walkthrough. Here's the latest from Denver 7 Broncos insider, Troy Rank. Trevor Simeon participated in his first team workout since injuring his left foot against the Kansas City Chiefs. He continues to progress, but Thursday will be a more critical day in the evaluation of his recovery. Um, the one thing you want to make sure you do is you, you, want, to, you want to play, but you want to play well, right? When, when you're hurt, you don't just want to be out there and, and not hurting the team. So uh, that's the goal. Our plan is for him to practice tomorrow. We'll see. You know, I'd still call him day to day, but my plan is for him to go tomorrow. Hey, who's that number 20? That's the new running back, Justin Forsett. He knows the system. He said he's ready to play a significant role if needed on Sunday. My thing is I want to come in and be a spark, and uh, uh, that's my objective. When I come in this, uh, this facility and see familiar faces like Coach Kubiak and Knapp and uh, Rico and all those guys, I mean, that's family to me. So, uh, you know, I always wanted to be here. Linebacker Brandon Marshall did not go through the walkthrough. It's not looking great for him to play on Sunday with that hamstring issue. Back to you, Lionel. All right, that is former Broncos receiver Ed McCaffrey back in the day. His son Christian on his shoulders. Today, that kid right there is ready to go to the NFL himself. Christian is skipping his senior season at Stanford, entering the NFL draft. The former Valor Christian star set the NCAA record for most all-purpose yards in a season. And now, time to go live the dream. A dream of mine since I was six years old, ever, ever since they ask what you want to be when you grow up, is, is an NFL player. And, you know, it's right, ahead, it's right in front of me, and uh, it's an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. Now to Boulder tonight. Bill Walton doing uh, color commentary in the Pac-12 network. Can you spot him? <laughs> Buffs hosting number 13, Xavier. Up by three in the last couple of minutes. Xavier Johnson driving score. Xavier on Xavier. 63-58. Musketeers were not going away quietly. Where's the defense? Hello? Anybody home? Yikes, 63 to 60. But Derek White was the big man on court. Bagged a huge jumper here, scored 23. The Buffs win it, beating a ranked team, going to 7 and 2 on the season. Nuggets in Brooklyn. Nuggets were down by 29, then call it a comeback. Jameer to Jamal to Manima, 103 99. Then last seconds, Wilson Chandler in the corner with a third rock. He bagged it. Nuggets within two with 16.3 to go. Chandler at 27. 112-109, Nuggets a chance to tie, but the inbounds play, Jameer and Jamal, bad connection. Oops, close, doesn't count. Nets win at 116-111. And the Rockies made a big splash today, signed free agent Ian Desmond to a five-year, $70 million deal. He's going to play first base right now. Desmond has averaged 22 homers a season over the last five years. And we'll be right back.